Hey guys, just wanted to switch gears here for a second and touch upon what's going on around the world as far as seismic activity as well as any word of Planet X that we're seeing. And I just happened to do a Google search and I uh, narrowed the search field to the past week. And uh, lo and behold, I came across a few articles here, mostly by The Express and, uh, and The Daily Mail, which I'm going to go into uh, here in a second. Um, but this is from... J uh, June 8th, it says Planet X approaches causing devastating climate and seismic activity. And then it goes on to basically talk about how, um, you know, how the planet hasn't been confirmed by scientists, but some believe that there is an elusive planet in our solar system, which has a huge orbit and a strong magnetic pull that can affect life on Earth. And then they go on and they plug um, a YouTube video by Skywatch Media News, who is no, by no means any expert. Uh, an expert on the subject. I'm not sure why they link to that because um, there's really not a whole bunch of evidence that, that these guys put out. I mean, there's definitely some, some interesting videos that they put out, but nothing concrete. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm basically asking myself why, why all this talk about Planet X recently. I mean, we all know that Caltech came out with the Planet 9 thing a few months ago. It's been circulated through mainstream media even. Um, used to be just alternative news and now it's sort of being hinted at through the mainstream uh, news sites as well and <clears throat> there was another one that came out by the same uh, come by the same uh, press express uh, Planet X fears spiking crop circles heralds coming of death world Nibiru and they're talking about how there there have been some newly formed uh, crop circles throughout Europe and uh, <clears throat> basically depicting uh, that Planet X is basically Cross the elliptical and it's uh, you know basically done its trip around the sun and it's heading towards us and its tail is about to uh, basically wreak havoc on Earth. So um, this was from June 10th by the same company, The Express. So I did a little bit of digging. Um, it turns out the Daily Express uh, it's a it's a tabloid newspaper, but in my opinion, these tabloids are based on some sort of fact. Um, they do they do put, touch up on a, you know a whole bunch of true news on their sites, but then they they inject you know, what, like the National Enquirer would put out, you know, just like two-headed babies and stuff like that, which, you know, people who are just reading who know nothing about Planet X can just throw that in that category. But those of us who know about Planet X and believe that it's a real thing um, are basically looking into this as kind of a warning. Um, and the, the Daily Express, it's a subsidiary of a company called Northern and Shell, which is owned by a guy named Richard Desmond. Now, when I did some research on Richard Desmond, it turns out that he is one of the wealthiest uh, people in Britain, and uh, he's ranked 57th richest man in Britain, and he's got a net worth of just about a billion dollars, and he is very good friends with the likes of the Queen, Rupert Murdoch, and good old uh, Sir Rothschild, uh, which I saw on this article right here. He did some sort of book. And um, you can see right there, other famous guests at the event included fellow, uh, fellow business leaders such as billionaire Arcadia Group boss Sir Philip Green and financier Sir Evelyn de Rothschild. And uh, so this guy is obviously in with those groups, with the uh, world banker elites, and um, I wouldn't put it past him to throw out either warnings, disinformation, or both from his company, which it looks like they're doing. So um, I found that just kind of kind of pretty interesting, the, uh, the correlation between his company and, and then he's friends with basically the Illuminati freaks out there. So, and then there was another one that just came out today, big one coming, scientists say 9.3 magnitude quake possible as California keeps rumbling. And they're talking about, you know, how the Cascadia drills have just gone on. Not only that, but there was a 5.2 earthquake that just took place near San Diego, and there have been hundreds of aftershocks from that earthquake. And uh, strange sounds even came out and said uh, they're they're saying that there were 800 aftershocks, a swarm that took place that is still taking place um, on this you know in in Southern California from this 5.2. And apparently the USGS was downplaying this, and they didn't even list it on their site. I think so. Just another warning coming out of the Express from this Illuminati dick. Uh, pardon my French, um, for lack of a better word. He is a dick. They all are. Um, anyway. Um, so yeah, I, fo I found this kind of just, just very suspicious that they're warning us. Everything we've been talking about but regarding Planet X and seismic activity and Earth changes 
are coming out of the Express, and then the, the owner of it, the Express, is linked to, to the Rothschild. So I'll let you guys do some research on that if you want. Um, but, you know, I've been checking out the uh, the live earthquake feed as well lately, and California, man, is, is rocking and rolling right now. They had that 5.2, and then you can see right here, you know, uh, I've been following this every day, you know, and and there's been, you know, obviously there are quakes going on throughout California every day, but, you know, in the past few months before recent times, it's been, you know, one-pointers here and there, a couple two-pointers, but lately there's been, you know, three-pointers, 2.6 here, 2.8, just an hour, and a, an hour ago, and um, when you zoom out, you know, you can just see the swarm there, and it's almost you know sort of representative re representative of what's going on in south america so in my humble opinion i think uh this whole cascadia drill is in preparation for a big earthquake that's going to rock uh, either the san andreas or the cascadia or both and uh put los angeles <clears throat> and california um and the rest of the state into a world of frenzy unfortunately so um and then uh, just one last one here um, from the Daily Mail. I did some research on that. Um, they came out with an article today talking about Planet Nine might not be alone. Astronomers suggest there could be several hidden worlds in our solar system. Then after doing a little bit of research on the Daily Mail, it finds out, I f come to find out that the Daily Mail is a British Daily conservative, conservative paper that was first published in 1896 by a guy named Lord Northcliffe in the in the United Kingdom, and is the se UK's second biggest selling daily newspaper after the Sun. Now, after I did a little bit of homework on this guy Lord Northcliffe, I came to this Freemasonry website, and it goes on to talk about. Let me bring it up. Give me one sec. Sorry says right here, Northcliffe, um, in reference to a period around 1868 during which Alfred Hemsworth, which is Northcliffe's real name, was plagued by po po uh, poverty. Freemasonry may have helped Northcliffe survive the worst crisis. He was for five years a member of the Honor of Generosity Lodge of that order in St. John's Wood. And uh, so this guy was a Freemason, this guy Northcliffe. And um, I just found that that kind of interesting too. So it's these guys who own these these tabloids and these newspapers over in the UK are linked to Freemasonry and the Rothschilds and all that. So they're in control of what we read on their on their uh, on their websites on their online publications. And what we're reading right now is stuff about Planet X, earthquakes, Planet X, Planet X, all within the past five days give or take I might add so we've got to raise an eyebrow at that guys I mean that's not just coincidence so um, yeah some some crazy stuff going on there uh, call me crazy call me call say you know you can say I'm, I'm you know speculating which I am but I mean I don't believe in these coincidences so just look at all this stuff that's coming out and look at the swarms going on in the west coast so all right, guys, I am beat. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I uh, just wanted to share that with you. Um, feel free to comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I'll leave links to all these articles. I'll see you in my next video. Have a good one.